Hey, welcome back. We are just going to run through some poses together and I'll teach you the names of them. And I kind of like this flow and it works for me in sort of waking up my body and getting ready to go for the day. Okay, let's lay back. We're gonna lay back into the reclined butterfly. So we're gonna have our feet together, knees apart, arms out to your side. And let's take three deep breaths together. Really relax into the pose. Really let your knees just drop to the floor. We're gonna move into happy baby. So we're gonna hug our knees to our chest and then spread them apart and reach up. You can either grab your ankles or your feet and you just wanna pull your knees and legs towards the floor and you can kind of rock back and forth too as you do this and give yourself a little back massage. And really open your hips up. Take three breaths here. I like to rock in and out of a lot of poses because it helps me not get locked into a pose and it really helps my body open up a little bit more and I enjoy the movement of it more. So this works for me. Great, bring your knees to your chest, squeeze. And we're gonna roll up, scooch back, and then we're gonna go into child pose together. Put your toes together, legs apart. And I like to do child's pose if I'm not feeling another pose. You can do this during anyone's practice. It's a good go-to if you just need a reset. So here we go. Really spread your hips and just relax into it. Three breaths. Really reach across the floor. Stretch your body as you push back. Push your glutes back to, towards the floor at the same time. move up to tabletop just want to make sure your knees are under your hips and your wrists are under your shoulders and you want to flat back and then from here we're going to move into cat cow pose start with cow here really arch your back Pull your shoulders back, shoulder blades back and squeeze them together. Really stick your tailbone up. Deep breath in. As you exhale, move into cat. Really arch your back. Squeeze your glutes in. Push your shoulders up. Exhale. Now we're going to inhale. All right, back into cow. Now, exhale back into cat. Now, inhale back into cow. Exhale back into cat. Inhale into cow. And you can start moving your hips side to side a little bit too. And exhale into cat. 
Move our hips side to side. And one more. Good job. All right, we're going to move now into puppy dog pose. So we're gonna reach across the floor, stay on our knees and keep our hips above our knees. Just rest our chest to the floor. Take a couple deep breaths here. Great, all right. Crawl back up to tabletop, all right. Okay, now we're gonna curl our toes back, crawl our hands forward up into down dog. Take a couple deep breaths here. Push your heels towards the floor. Put your glutes up towards the sky. Let your head hang. Now reach your right foot up. And then we're going to go into runner's pose. Really put your neck up high. Ooh. Really go deep into the lunge. Make sure your foot is under your knee. And we're gonna go up into warrior two. Sure, your legs, legs are nice and spread apart. And your knee doesn't go above your ankle or go in front of your ankle. Stand up straight. Take a deep breath. Just take another deep breath. We're going to go into peaceful warrior. We're going to straighten the front leg. Warrior two. All right, can we kneel our arms? Oops, back down. Careful, I almost fall sometimes too. <laughs> All right, back into runner's pose. Back into down dog. Put your left foot in the air. Runner's position. Deep into the lunge. Up into warrior two. Stand up straight. Look straight ahead. Deep breath, the peaceful warrior. Straighten the front leg. Back to warrior two. Wing the other hands down. Back into runner's pose. Down dog. Now we're going to go into plank. We're going to lower into chaturanga. We're going to lift into whew, cobra. Back to down dog. Arch your back. into plank, lower down to your belly, the 
move up into Sphinx pose. Let your heart rate slow down. I like to repeat that flow a few times. Before I start my day, and it really helps to energize me. Now, flip our bodies over. And go into Savasana. Just a few minutes. Feel free to relax into Savasana for as long as you like. Make sure to thank your body and be grateful for this practice and what it's allowed you to do. Allow your breathing to return to normal. up and thank you for joining me in my practice namaste